it's that time of the year again. It's February in London and we're at the London Ace Cafe for the Overlander Day. Events at the Overlander Day at the Ace Cafe are a good opportunity to check out new motorcycle travel equipment and exchange experiences with other travelers. There are also a variety of companies displaying their services as well as companies advertising their modification options and kits to prepare motorcycle for long hard trips or difficult terrains such as deserts. And the attendance this year is much more than last year. Look at all the bikes in the makeshift overflow car park. Jamal, we don't usually see so many Africa twins in England, but today you must be really having a good day. Of course, I feel happy, and I told you, Africa twin, it's a very advanced bike, very good bike. That's why mainly most of the people, they keep them, even if it's old. Like just now, I have seen one, it's H3, which is 85, 86. Still, they are strong on the road to prove that I've got the right bike. Yeah, it's a really good day. Um, a lot better than last year. Whilst it's still cold, it's not raining. Um, as you can probably see, having a look around, the turnout's really good. Um, as usual, it took a little while to get going, but it's great. We've got a lot more companies here this year, though. Obviously, I'm here with the Toro Tech lads. Um, looking around, we've got Triumph, we've got Metal Mule, KTM are here on force again with a big truck and all the cars, and lots of the other companies that are doing all the... Uh, the big tour so uh, yeah it's a really good day for especially for anybody who's just getting into it as well if you're just getting into it this is a place to come and, and meet the people that have done and are doing the trips um, you know, we're probably getting a bit old at it now and last year we were thinking exactly the same but uh, no, it's great it's a good day uh, we produce aftermarket uh, rally and adventure parts for KTM 690 and Euro mainly for use in desert and uh, dry conditions and uh, this is the rally version of the adventure kit which is basically the adventure kit with the addition of uh, all the remote GPS and navigation equipment. So you've got a, a road book there which is electrically controlled and that will have your route map for the day. And then we've got uh, compass headings and trip meters for distance and direction. And this is where the GPS would go where they give you the uh, overall route for the day to follow. And then the bike's been customised as well from the standard road bike. Uh, we run extra switches which we try and keep as near to the handlebars ends as possible so the riders don't have to move about too much. Then this is underneath. We run a foam air filter instead of the paper air filter because every day the dust would clog a paper filter so we change that. And the suspension is made much stiffer because in the dunes you're hitting stuff much harder and faster so you want the bike to keep stood up more so that's a much stiffer setup than you would run on the road and then the tyres we don't run tubes we run a bib mousse which is like a foam donut so you haven't got any worries of punctures and they're special Michelin desert tyres which are made as they say for the desert for sandy conditions but they're very good at protecting from rock damage and then the other thing we have over standard is we've got double the fuel capacity because the stages can be very long and you're obviously a long way from a petrol station. So we have to make sure that uh, the bikes will get to the next fuel stop. And this bike's got an extra fuel on the back, so that's a reserve. Below inside the engine, we carry a three litre water container, which is a um, regulation that all the races, so it saves having to carry it on your back. And uh, it just means that if you do have a problem with the engine, you can also use the water to um, cool the engine, it's a backup for that. And a very heavy duty bash plate, so that if you're riding in dry riverbeds and you do drop it, there's less chance that you're gonna get a big rock go through the engine and ruin your day. The main trick is just to finish every day and come in and just service the bike and sleep.
good afternoon. I'm Jeff. We're at the uh, Ace Cafe today. It's the adventure today. And as we can see, if we pan around, we have a lot of motorbikes. Uh, I'm here working for Triumph. We have new 800 Triumph here. Uh, the adventure market is really getting big in the UK. Um, here this morning at 9 o'clock, we had about oh, probably 200, 250 motorbikes, as you can hear. Adventure motorcycles really sort of kind of taking off now. The, uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people try and step away from the fast road bikes. Adventure bikes really taking off. We had 250 people here this morning at 9 o'clock on a grey day. Uh, sports bike riders, you wouldn't get them here at all. Um, so it's a growing market. I mean, Triumph's new models, these 800 Tigers, which are standing behind me, um, are selling extremely well. We sold 500 in the last in the last 10 weeks, which is pretty amazing. Um, so fingers crossed the market's going to keep on going. Um, certainly talking about Triumph for a second, we have the, the new XC here. The XC is the off-road version. It's a bigger front wheel, longer travel suspension. Good on gas, comfortable all day. And then in the distance we have the hiding behind those people over there. There is a motorbike and it's the road going version. And it's very good. And, uh, but as you can see, we've got lots of bikes. We've got KTM over here as well. Um, BMW seems to be the main thing at the moment, but um, people seem to like big heavy bikes for some reason, but uh, we'll try and wean them off where we can. J Jack Lily Triumph, we've been running uh, since 1959. Uh, we've been a Triumph dealer since the, the state came back in 1991. We've been number one or thereabouts uh, ever since. Um, the Triumphs have really come on. It used to be people bought Triumphs because they were Triumph. Now we're sort of top of the, you know, whichever niche we look at, we do very well in all niches. The, the Tiger 800 is, uh, is certainly included in that. It's doing extremely well. And the Daytona does particularly well for us and the Street Triple. So uh, we like Triumphs. They're good. Get yourself one. Okay, Tiger 800. Um, the engine is a derivative of the 675 Daytona and 675 Street R. Uh, essentially, it's a big bore version. Sorry, it's a long stroke version. The bore size, the pistons are the same as the 675. And we have two mil on the stroke. Um, down on power, this is just under 100 horsepower, which is plenty for this kind of bike. Consequently, it's very fuel efficient. Um, I've been using it for a few hundred miles now. And I'm getting almost 50 miles to the gallon. And on a run, it will do about maybe 55, 58 to the gallon. Uh, fuel tank is 19 litres, which will give you about 200 miles in good conditions, up to about 240 if you're running in Europe. Uh, you've got long travel suspension on it, twin front disc brakes, um, extremely comfortable. The saddle, uh, the saddle goes up and down by 20 mil, so uh, even, uh, even for short leg people, they can get on there, which is obviously an issue a lot of the time on those bikes. Uh, this one's got a lot of accessories on it, so we've got the, we've got the factory panniers on here, we've got the factory crash bars, factory uh, bash plates, and the sensor stand. Uh, this bike has got about £4,000 worth of accessories on it. You don't need all that, but uh, it's just to show what we can do. There's also two versions. You can get this with uh, the normal version, and we do an ABS version as well. Um, ABS version will be coming online in about a month and a half time. That will be start of April 2011. So uh, we're doing very well with them, and we're very happy with them. Jamal and I also meet up to plan our trip, where to stay along the route and what food to eat on our long journey. Yalla, akhi, ana Jaan. So, ana Jaan lan. Do you put the stuff in the microwave? Yeah, cook. Just to eat it, it's cooked already. And how to turn it on? Eating in restaurants every evening can be very expensive. But if you just simply buy the tin cans in, in the supermarket, then you can have a nice good meal fresh from the tin can. Some fresh <laughs> chili, every yeah. evening. And it looks delicious. 